blessing. Each one has, only has their own command. Bless. Notice the, even the epistles written overwhelmingly by Jewish disciples or the, the, starts out with blessing. Starts out blessing, blessed is, the pattern. Jewish thing to start out everything with blessing from the beginning, which is saying there's a, there's a the truth revealed there. There's, our, there's all these revelations in the Hebrew blessing. That is, whenever you start something, start it with blessing. Set it right with blessing. Set it right. And if you can't do something in blessing, don't start it. Start your day with blessing. When you wake up, bless God. Start your work with blessing. Start everything with blessing and see what happens. Though in the Bible, each one blesses, you know, Abraham to Isaac, the blessing Isaac to Jacob. Zechariah holding his baby, Yochanan John, the Baptist, and he blesses him, prophesies over him. And even on the Sabbath, it is traditional for parents to bless their children, lay the father to lay hands on them. And he will say to, will say to a boy, may God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. And to the girl, he will say, may God make you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. And then the priestly benediction. It is commanded in the Bible to bless your children. So many problems come in this world because people don't do that. Even Christians don't do that. And so many people, I mean, it's funny, I mean, it's not funny. You look at people, look at people like Hitler, they never got a blessing from their father. Stalin never got a blessing from his father. Saddam Hussein never, they were cursed. And they never did anything beyond, they never found the Lord. So the thing is, there's so much, and beyond that, on a much lesser scale, people all over the world are living their lives to compensate for the fact that they never got the blessing. It means so much. Meaning, parents, it's not enough for you just to raise your children. You have to bless them. And you have to speak it. And you have to encourage it. And you have to bless them, not just by providing. But you have to speak a blessing. Bless your children with words of life. Children, bless your parents. Honor your mother and father, and it will go well. You'll have a long life in the land. Blessing will come to you as you bless your parents. Many blessings of the Hebrew blessings are for what has been. Blessing for what has been. Your past affects your future. What has been will affect what is to come, cause and effect. But what if your past wasn't blessed? What if you didn't have, I don't have, I didn't have a blessed past. I had a messed up past. Well, bless your past and it will become a blessed past. We say, well, how can I bless that? Because God still worked it for good. God worked everything to bring you to him. That, therefore, you can bless God for everything. Some people curse their past, and they're creating a, they're, they're, or they're intensifying a cursed past. And that leads to a cursed future. If you're complaining all the time about the past, you're setting yourself up for a curse. I know people who have been betrayed by others, were put in jail for their faith, were tortured, and yet they blessed, they gave thanks to God. And they blessed their past, and they had a blessed future. Bless for everything and all things, and you will have a blessed past and a blessed future. Psalm 119 says, blessed are you, in Hebrew, baruch atah. So many of the Hebrew blessings begin, and you probably have heard this if you, if you don't know it well. Most, so many Hebrew blessings begin the same way. Baruch atah Adonai. Baruch, blessed, atah, you, are you, Adonai, the Lord. Eloheinu melech haolam, our God, the king of the universe. What do we learn from that? Blessings begin with God. All blessings begin with God. You need to begin everything with God. You want blessing, you have to begin everything with God. Whatever you do, start it from God. Don't start without God and ask him to catch up. Start with God. Blessings begin first. God, what's in the blessing? God is first. Put, what does that tell you? Blessing comes by putting God first, then blessings come. First in honor, first in order, first in priority, first in focus. The blessings begin with God. So put God, a blessed life puts God first in all things and blessings come. Put God second and third, put yourself first, it's not a blessed life. It's blessed art thou. Blessed are you. What's that? The blessings begin not focused on me, it's focused on you, him. And so what's it saying? A blessed life is focused not on yourself, it's focused on you, God. And then the little yous that are in God's image. Blessing, relating to him, looking to God. A blessed life is not me-centered, it's thou-centered. Forgetting me, forget getting lost the me in, in him, thou, and then blessings come. And you get blessed on top of it. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe. 
You know, so often it's, you know, we're often what we, we thank, we may thank God or bless him because he gave us something. And we are to thank God for all the blessings, but it's b- deeper than that. The beginning of every Hebrew prayer or, or the major Hebrew prayers is not just bless God because of this. It's simply bless God, bless God, period, because you're, you are you. Bless God first, because, bless God because you, I'm blessed because of God. Bless you, Lord. Everything else I get is extra. Who gave, then it goes on to say, okay, who gave us this or who did this? But that's secondary. First, bless God, no matter what. Jethro and Moses, it says in Exodus 4, he blessed him. Go in peace. Blessed him. There's another kind of Hebrew blessing. It's not the blessing of meeting somebody. It's the blessing of sending someone out or, or leaving. A barucha, a blessing of parting. When you leave, what does it teach you? What's the revelation? When you leave, you must bless. Don't leave something unless you can bless it. I can't really leave that unless you bless it. Doesn't again, again, you might say, well, this one is just, this person was just a horror of my life. Still bless God for everything and move on. You cannot go. There are people who never bless and they never move on. You can go from one, they go from one situation, next situation, next, they never go on. Some of you never, some of you will not be blessed because you've never blessed your child, you never blessed your parents in some way. They may not be here. Still bless, Lord, thank you. And you can move on. But if you don't, you'll never move on. And there are people who go from one relationship to the next, same thing again, one job to the next, same thing, one congregation to the next, never, never, never with, never breaking free. I know many people who have, who have, their whole lives are based on what happened before, and you'll never move on. Bless. In Jewish tradition, at the wedding, the parents bless. They have to give their blessing. What do you, in all times, no matter what. It means even when you lose something, you have to bless. There's a blessing for that as well. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Hope of the World is dedicated to the goal of spreading God's word and salvation to every land and people. We do this by spreading the word throughout the world and sponsoring compassion projects to the most poor and needy around the earth. To get in touch or have a part in God's work, just write to Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Or go to hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821.